All right, you guys, welcome back to the lounge. Glad to be here. Hope you guys are doing good today. Um, I wanted to do this, uh, not, a, not like a, a super, super long video or nothing, but I wanted to get your guys' opinion on this. Um, so we're going to take a look at uh, a video that I wanted to watch with you guys and uh, see what, you know, see what your guys' take is on this uh i know it's, it's pretty serious i think um and i'm not saying that it's going to put us in more 100 you know for sure or not but you know there are people saying that um this could most definitely put us into a pretty big war so let me get the uh audio up here real quick <clears throat> and I think the last thing we need is to be going to war again. Uh, look, look how much we paid for all the other wars that we went through. Imagine how, imagine how big this want to be. Remind me. Button. Be quiet, AT&T. Message. Button. Message. Button. Um, just imagine how, you know, how big this one is going to be. So. Um, anyways, they're 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 calling for revenge, and uh, Iran is you know One notification. saying that that they're most definitely going to attack. But 2 p.m. you know, just because uh, you know it's being said doesn't make it a hundred percent. But let's just watch this real quick. Again. Heart okay. in the upper ranks of the Iranian military at the official announcement of the death of Major General Qasem Soleimani, the commander of Iran's Quds Force, the Revolutionary Guard unit responsible for foreign operations. Soleimani was killed in a U.S. drone strike in Baghdad. And anger at Friday prayers in the Iranian capital for the assassination of a man who led the charge against ISIL in Iraq and Syria and whose death seems likely to lead to more conflict. God willing, it is now time to clear and cleanse the region of these devils. It is now time to show more resistance to the Americans and show our resistance with action, to tell those Yankees to get out of here, get lost. I want to I wanna say something on this. The only thing that I think is the United States has a big problem with, with minding our own business, I think, sometimes. Um, now, Trump says that, that this leader that, that we killed uh, was, was part of the 9-11, that he was involved in that and uh, involved in some other uh, killings and, and so on. So, I, and, and I don't know if that's – if that's a hundred percent or not, I don't know. But if he was, then he deserved what he got. If he wasn't, if if he's not had anything to do with anything that the United States has been dealing with, then maybe that's a different story. But I think that Iran's just trying to. Not everybody in Iran. You, you got to remember that too. It's not everybody. It's not everybody. Everybody's not trying to protect. Uh, the leader, you know, he, he wasn't a, a, a good guy from my understanding. I don't know. I've not done enough research on him yet to know everything yet. And I'm, I'm working on that. I'm reading some uh, stuff on him. But as of right now, you know, I, I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think? Leave your comments below. And um, let's let's watch some more of this. Come on. Death of Major General Qasem Soleimani, the commander of Iran's Quds Force, the Revolutionary Guard unit responsible for foreign operations. Soleimani was killed in a U.S. drone strike in Baghdad. Over. Sorry, guys. And anger at Friday prayers in the Iranian capital for the assassination of a man who led the charge against ISIL in Iraq and Syria, and whose death seems likely to lead to more conflict. 
God willing, it is now time to clear and cleanse the region of these devils. It is now time to show more resistance to the Americans and show our resistance with action, to tell those Yankees to get out of here, get lost. In the early hours of Friday morning, shortly after arriving at Baghdad International Airport, U.S. missiles killed Soleimani and his close ally, Abu Mahdi al-Muhandis, the deputy head of the Iranian-backed Iraqi militia, Hashd al-Shabi. Other members of the group were also killed in the attack. Now, this guy wasn't even expecting it. Like, he was just getting on his plane and, and going to do whatever, but... That didn't work out for him. A drone strike hit their convoy as they left the airport. For Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, Soleimani was a trusted confidant, a member of his inner circle. His killing in a targeted attack, the most extreme escalation in tensions between Tehran and Washington in recent years. Now Khamenei warned there will be revenge. The cruelest people on earth assassinated the honorable commander who courageously fought for years against the evils and bandits of the world. Soleimani's martyrdom will make Iran more decisive to resist America's expansionism and to defend our Islamic values. With no doubt, Iran and other freedom-seeking countries in the region will take his revenge. In Tehran, senior leaders met in an emergency meeting of Iran's National Security Council. Many Iranians see the U.S. attack as an act of war. Across the region, there will be implications. Anywhere where there's an American military presence, uh, Americans should, should leave those countries immediately. But if I was in the Emirates, I would leave now. If I was an American in Iraq, I would leave now. If I was an American in any part in Southwest Asia, I would leave immediately. The United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights wow. described the killings as a likely violation of international law. The idea that Iran is not going to respond is, is wishful thinking that will make the, the, the debacle of, of invading Iraq look like a, a walk in the park. I do not think that President Trump now really understands what this, he's gotten guys. the United States into going up against Iran. I would argue that going to war with Iran will be the most significant adversary that the United States has encountered since World War II. Since World War II. Since World, World War II is what they're claiming. It, that, that can be pretty big. Pretty big, you guys. Um, and again, I don't... I'm not a pro at the at the whole, you know, at all this stuff. Um, I do follow it, but there's people that know a lot more about it than I do. Um, but I wanted to get your opinion on it. I do think that one of the things that could be a risk for us is if there are people here in the United States. Will there be other attacks? And I'm not talking like major attacks, but just attacks around the United States. If there's people over here that believe in that leader, that followed that leader, that, you know, they take their, uh, they take their stuff very seriously when it comes to their beliefs and their religion and all that stuff. So it very well could end up causing i think some some attacks here in the united states we can't say that there's nobody over here that's that's not you know against the united states they very well could be we don't know we we don't know but it, it's going to be something we're just going to have to keep an eye on uh, let's go ahead and listen to some more here u.s secretary of state mike pompeo tweeted a video showing iraqis celebrating the attack while Soleimani enjoyed widespread support for leading the charge to displace ISIL from Iraqi strongholds, some Iraqis blame Iran for instability and interference in their country, and Soleimani directly for the deaths of more than 500 Iraqis in violent anti-government protests, which began in October. Feared by his enemies, inside Iran, Soleimani has for years been one of the most popular national figures in the country. The international face of Iranian resistance to American pressure. He remained largely untouched by the waning popularity in recent years of the country's government over economic issues. 
While there is talk of revenge, many Iranians don't want to see a war. Mr. Trump unfortunately acted decisively, saying that we won't go for war or push the issue to war. The leaders must exercise restraint so that the tension in the region wouldn't increase further, because this can have very serious consequences for the countries in the region. It will definitely increase violence, but I fundamentally disagree with violence and conflict. I believe people moving toward peace and negotiation to reach their goals is much better. Iranians looked on Soleimani as someone who could protect them. Cut down at the height of his popularity by a U.S. strike, his death marks the lowest point in Iran-U.S. relations in decades. Zain Basravi, Al Jazeera. Wow. So, so Lit Mobile just sent me this solar wireless battery pack. We don't want to hear about the damn battery. Um, anyways, there it is, you guys. Be sure to leave me your thoughts on this. Um, All right, there we go. But yeah, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think about it. Um, do you see us going to a big war? Do you see it being... Um, I'm not going to sit here and say there, there won't be no war at all because I, I don't believe that. There, there's definitely going to be retaliation and, and that's going to lead to some war uh, in one way or another. But um, anyways, I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on it. Go ahead and tap on that subscribe button. Join us here at the lounge. Uh, click on that little bell. Set your notifications so you're notified anytime that we publish a new video. And until next time, you guys have a wonderful day.